he really cares, this king of cops. And I suspect that as a spiritual storyteller, you care. Hello, spiritual storytellers, and welcome to Amalite Yourself, where we explore simple ways to blend self-care and spiritual practices so you can start telling a new story and empower yourself from the inside out, chakra by chakra. My name is Maria, and I'm a storytelling coach and the author of Closer to Indigo. I coach spiritual storytellers to heal their past and create a brighter future using the magic of storytelling, crystals, and essential oils. And I'm so happy to be connecting with you across time and space. If you'd like to book a personal service with me, the links are in the description box below. And I'm excited to invite you to my workshop this Thursday, September 5th. And it's called The Seven Main Chakras, a self-care workshop with a live chakra reading. And the free tickets are on Eventbrite. Today, I'm going to be giving a chakra healing constellation reading. So let's tap into the energy of the universe and ask spirit and angels for some loving guidance. So let's dive in. I've got my cards here. And what I'll be doing is I'll be using this Chakra Healing Constellation template that I downloaded a couple of months ago in my meditation. And I think it's a perfect way for us to explore each chakra and where we might need a little boost. Connecting with our spirit guides and angels and our intuition. Please give us spiritual storytellers some loving and healing guidance. What do spiritual storytellers need to hear today? Thank you for your loving and healing energy. So while I'm shuffling, I want you to connect with your heart. Oh, there we go. That's one. And now I'll just arrange the rest face down on my card spread. That's, there we go. And the first one already flipped over. So the first card is the Queen of Swords. And it lands on the root chakra. And the root chakra is all about having a secure foundation. It means that all of our physical and financial needs are being met. And it's all about feeling connected with the earth and feeling supported. And look, the queen of swords, that's a really good place to start. It means we're sitting in our throne and feeling like we're in a position to really do some good in the world. That's excellent, spiritual storytellers. We're working from a really strong foundation. And the Queen of Swords is all about communication. And that's what we're all about. We're all about voicing our stories and sharing our wisdom with the world. And here is the Queen of Swords doing exactly that. She's speaking with reverence and respect and authority. She's got something to say. So, wow, what a great place to start September. Yeah, so it looks like we're really starting from a good place and it's onwards and upwards from here as the sword is pointing. <laughs> and the next card. Oh, it's the Four of Wands. Look at that. The Four of Wands lands on the Sacral Chakra. And the Sacral Chakra is all about family, belonging, creativity, nurturing. It's the Artist Chakra. And the Sacral Chakra is about connecting and warmth and collaborating. And it looks like here we've got this couple and they're collaborating together and they're working together and moving forward in victory and they're co-creating. It's a co-creating card for sure because we've got the balance of the two wands on this side and the two wands on this side. There's balance here. There's union here. There's everybody's going in the same direction. 
instead of going against each other. It's about alignment and manifesting and everything is lining up for you. Yeah, for sure. So that's excellent to have on the sacral chakra. So as you have your clear vision and you've got your what you want to say and your wisdom, if you line that up, your heart, your mind, your feet, everything, when everything lines up, it's super easy. I'm excited for us spiritual storytellers. So the next card, oh wow, this is the three of pentacles and it falls on the solar plexus. And the solar plexus is all about confidence and moving forward with your vision. And it's a very joyful chakra. And the solar plexus is the third chakra. And here we've got three people. So it's very group oriented. And so there's more people. So here we have two people. And now we have three. So things are growing. More and more people are joining. And more and more people are co-creating. And so with your vision of, say, wanting to tell your story, now things are going and expanding and more people are joining. So that's awesome. It means that progress is being made. And see how this card, they're inside this cathedral. It's the artist card as well. This guy here is the artist and kind of like Michelangelo or Da Vinci. And so there's a lot of creativity. So when you move forward with your solar plexus chakra, have confidence in your vision that you can create a masterpiece. Yeah, <laughs> cool, eh? All right. So the next card is the two of cups. And this falls onto the heart chakra. And the heart chakra is all about love and connection. So there's a blessed union here with the angel overseeing things. And the cups are about emotions and feelings. And so this is about sharing from your heart, sharing your message from your heart. Oh, how wonderful. Sharing your spiritual message from your heart even better. Thank you, Spirit, for that one. It looks like you know, we're really making great progress here. And uh, it looks like September is going to be a lovely month for all of us spiritual storytellers. And the next card is the Seven of Pentacles. And that falls on to the throat chakra. And the throat chakra is all about self-expression, creativity, speaking your truth, and authenticity. And it looks like doing the work and speaking your truth and showing up that there's treasure to be had, to be received. It looks like this guy is looking at this treasure and he's like, wow, <laughs> I didn't realize that that's what I was doing. And he's like trying to figure out, okay, I have this treasure and what are my next steps? So when you're contemplating, okay, I've made a lot of progress. I've done a lot of work. Maybe you've got this book already written and you're like okay now what I do with that book that's what this is so this is about speaking what you want into your reality and just being clear about what that is and then it'll translate into wonderful blessings and abundance and the next card wow the king of pentacles wow so the king of pentacles is really wealthy and prosperous and he's a really good manifester and he's really well situated he's got a lot a lot of wealth to offer and now that he's secure in his foundation he can be generous with what he's got and share it with others and uplift others. This is really interesting that this falls on the third eye chakra. And the third eye is about trusting your guidance and your intuition and receiving your guidance and then acting on it and turning it into a reality. So it looks like this king of pentacles spent a lot of time in his imagination and in his intuition. And now it's showing up in his reality, 
in his world, in his life. And so that's what we spiritual storytellers do. That's how it works. The creative process starts in your imagination and then you can bring it into fruition. So all of this hard work is really starting to show up in the real world. Amazing. And the last card is the King of Cups. Wow, another king. We've got three court cards in here. Yeah, so we've got the Queen of Swords and we've got the King of Pentacles, King of Cups. So that's pretty amazing. The King of Cups is the most loving out of all the kings. He's got heart. He's not just about the money. He's not about just communicating his point of view with his words. He really cares, this King of Cups. And I suspect that as a spiritual storyteller, you care. And the crown chakra, which is where the King of Cups is, is all about our connection with the divine. And it's about giving and receiving. And it's about raising our consciousness and realizing that we're all together. We're all children of the universe. And this King of Cups is including everybody in the kingdom. Everybody's welcome. And this is really joyful. And there's prosperity and abundance for everyone. And this King of Cups is going to make sure that we all get our share. Yeah, he's a very generous and benevolent king. He's been through it. He knows what it's like to uh, go through adversity. And look where he is now on the other side of that. And just trust that the divine is supporting us and cheering for us and is helping us create the best lives we can. And that's the story that we can start telling ourselves is that we belong, that we're included, that we have a right to say what we want and that we have our own point of view and that's okay. And the King of Cups is here to say, you're allowed to speak your truth. And I may not agree, but that's okay. I'm not going to punish you for it. I'm going to allow you to do what you want and to thrive as best you can. Oh, all right. So that's quite, quite a reading today. We started off with the Queen of Swords and she is on a mission to speak her truth and she's coming from a firm foundation. And then we've got the Four of Wands and this is about collaborating and co-creating and being in alignment with everything that we want. Then we have the Three of Pentacles on the solar plexus, which is all about joyful collaboration as well. It's about sharing a, the vision and including others on our journey. And then we have the Two of Cups, which is about blessed union and sharing our truth and our wisdom from our heart. And then it's like, wow, we've got all these riches and all these ideas and all of this prosperity. So make the best decision and trust your guidance and just speak your truth and you'll make the best decision on what to do next. But speak it into reality. Be clear on what you want to do and you'll do great. And then we have the King of Pentacles. Keep staying in your imagination. Even though you've accumulated some wealth, started to tell your story, you can't just stop there. You've got to keep going and keep going back into your imagination and keep creating. This is the goose that laid the golden egg. Keep nurturing that goose and keep enjoying those golden eggs. Yeah, that's what the pentacles are. Cool. <laughs> and then we've got the king of cups, the king with heart, the king who cares, the king who has been through it but has compassion. So, wow, spiritual storytellers, if you like this reading, then I'd love to hear from you. Which of the chakras did you like the best? And if you're interested in receiving your own chakra constellation healing reading with me, you can book a call with me. The links are in the description box below. And if you're interested, I'm offering a special workshop on Thursday, September 5th, and it's called The Seven Main Chakras, a self-care workshop with a live chakra reading, and I'll put the link as well in the description box. 
So I'd love to have you join us. It's a free workshop and we'll be doing a live chakra healing constellation reading for everybody present. And so I think it'll be a lot of fun. It looks like September is going to be a beautiful month for all of us. And it starts with self-care. And so if you'd like to participate in the workshop, I invite you to join us and enjoy your September.